guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Anastasia and I'm an EFL teacher I've been teaching English for more than five years and today we are going to discuss such uh, teaching qualifications like CELTA, TESOL and TOEFL so let's start with CELTA CELTA is certificate in teaching English to the speakers of other languages and it is the most widely recognized uh, English teaching qualification in the world. So, if you have CELTA, it means that you will definitely find a job in almost any country in the world. So, you should understand that CELTA is not an exam. It doesn't check your knowledge. It is a course, which means that you'll study. And you'll study a lot. So be ready that you'll study, you'll prepare a lot of uh, lesson plans, you'll have teaching practice, you'll get feedback from your trainer, uh, you'll write a lot of assignments, and so on and so on. So be ready for this. As you probably already understand, this course takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, and honestly, it's expensive. Yes, it's not cheap, but I think that it's worth it because in the end of the day, you can apply almost for any job in the world, any English teaching job. But please keep it in mind that you can obtain CELTA qualification only in the centers um, which cooperate with the, uh, Cambridge. But this is very easy to check. You just go to Cambridge English or website and check it out what uh, center is the closest to you and where you can take CELTA. The next qualification we are going to discuss is TESOL. TESOL literally stands for Teaching English uh, for Speakers of Other Languages. As we already discussed that CELTA can be obtained only in Cambridge centers, but unfortunately we cannot say the same about uh, TESOL and TEFL qualifications. Many people say that uh, TESOL certificate uh, is considered from uh, Trinity College only, but it's not really true because based on what I see among requirements is uh, either TESOL Trinity or equivalent, which means that other certificates are also accepted. And that's good news because TESOL Trinity, again, is a very expensive course and again, it takes a lot of time and preparation. So, yeah. However, if you complete this course, um, you'll have all the chances to find a decent job in ELT. As for other TESOL providers, as I already said, you should be very careful because a lot of them are scams. Some of them are not accredited, some of them are accredited but by unknown organizations and so on. Before paying $100 for scam, and believe me, all the scams are $100 like or even less, Please do research. You should understand what company is safe and what is not. Read reviews, not on their website. Mm -mm. Somewhere, Google it, okay? To avoid all this time-consuming research, I personally completed a TESOL course from Arizona State University. It was the best course I ever completed, seriously. And why did I choose this course? Because um, Arizona State University is a famous university and uh, it has good reputation. If you want me to tell about this course, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And the last qualification we are going to discuss today is TEFL. TEFL stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language. Honestly, I don't know any organization which provides TEFL and I could trust. What I see on the internet looks like someone's business. So you open the website, it's very nice, and the price for this course is $1,000. But five minutes later, you have message popped up that you are so lucky. Today you can get 90% discount, and this course costs only 
100 dollars today nice marketing well done but i'm not sure that i can say the same about this course or even test yes because a lot of organizations offer you not course but the test so you see you can become an english teacher by completing an online test and copying answers from google <claps> fantastic so i personally wouldn't take uh, such offer serious and wouldn't trust those companies so how to choose the right course for you first of all decide what format would you like to work online or face to face if you choose the online option, then just check out their online job offers and their requirements. Both mention in their job offers what qualification you need to work with them. So now you know what teaching qualification they need. So go for it! If you choose the face-to-face -face option, then here you have got one more step. First of all, you should choose the country you want to work in and then do the same. Check out job offers in that country and school requirements and go for it again. That's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in comments down below. And I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye.